securing your API is one of the primary use, use cases of Plague. And there are different ways or different notification modes that you can secure that. Today, I'm going to explain step by step how to configure, generate, and validate your yachts coming from O0 and access to your different APIs via Tyke securely. The first step is logging into your O0 dashboard. And here, going into applications, under applications, go into the APIs. Now, why are we creating a new API? In order to get to those bird tokens, code tokens they're going to be using, you need to access via API. So I'm going to create an API. I'm going to give it a name that can be, for example, type out and an identifier. And you can use for testing purposes, for example, type of as well. We'll be using signing algorithm RS-256. So now I'm going to create this API. Now, what we see here is the different options that are given for us. We're going to go to the test tab. And here, we're going to find the comments that you need to use or you need to put in your terminal in order to get an access to this token. So let me copy this comment and put it in my terminal. As you can see in this comment, there are different areas or different objects that you have. For example, the client ID and the client secret. Now, these two are generated by default, but you could use your own. So if I enter here, I will get that access token. I will get the spare, spare time and also the type of token that it is. That is actually a bearer. Good. So let me copy this token in order to use it for next steps. So let me copy this. I'll go to my sublime text and put this token here. Okay, let's go back. And here we're going to be seeing as well that in applications, there was an application created for this API. So I can access to this application and I'm going to see the name, the domain, which we'll be using now, the client ID and the client secret. This client ID and client secret are the ones that we're using in order to gather or to get our token. So let me get to my tech gateway in order to create a new API and secure it. So if I click here on APIs and I add a new API, I'm going to use the HTTP type and I'm going to be getting data or routing proxying this upstream URL, HTTP, HTTP.org. So I'm going to call this type jot, for example. I'm going to configure this API. And here, there are different options. But since we just want to secure it, I'll go all the way down to authentication. In here, I'll be putting jots. And the signing method, the one that we selected before, which is RSA. And now I need the public key. Now, how do I get to this public key? Basically, what I'm going to be using here is the JOTS URI. And in order to get to that, I need to use what they call the well-known endpoint, right? So I'm going to go to my application details in here. I'm going to copy this domain. And I'm going to go to where my URL is stored, which is actually here in the sublime text. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to substitute this URL domain for the actual domain or my actual domain. Now, all these different URIs are going to be pasted for you in the comments, so you can copy and paste it easily. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my browser. And in my browser, I'm going to have all that information about this endpoint. In here, I'm going to look for the JOTS URI, and I'm going to copy it. So this is the one that I'll be needing, right, all the way to JSON. So let me copy. I'll go back to my gateway, and I'll paste it here. Now, the source, I'm going to keep it as sub by default, 
and the policy field, field name I poll, you can use whichever you want. And now we need to create a policy, right? Because we don't have right now a policy uh, for this API. So I'm going to save here and I'm going to go to my policy step. In here, I'm going to add a new policy. I'm going to select the type API. I'm going to leave all this by default. I'm going to give it a name. So for example, this is going to be called jot type policy. And the key spares date, I'm going to keep it or select it as never. And then I'm going to create that policy. So now that we have this policy created, I'm going to go back to my API. And I'm going to go back here in order to edit it and add, as mentioned before, the API policy, which is right here. I'm going to update this. And now I'm ready to be able to access this API. How do I do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to select my URL. And I'm going to do this via terminal. And I have already here my comments prepared. So I come here. I paste here my URL. And also my token which is in this tab over here because I just pasted it. So now I paste it here and I'm going to copy everything into my terminal. I'm going to go back to my terminal here. I'm going to clear this, you know, to have a little bit more space. I'm going to paste it. Now, the first try that I'm going to do is um, with something that is not correct and expected is that this key is not authorized to access. So let me test it with the good one, which had a W at the end. And of course, I'm gonna get that information that I was looking for, right? So this is exactly a good access. So what did we see basically? In this video, we saw that we can secure with JOTS that access to your APIs and the provided for the JOTS are O zero. So thank you very much for watching.